science, technology, engineering, and math have the potential to transform and enhance traditional forms of teaching. This was illustrated today at Antelana Middle School's second annual STEM Expo. My name is Vincent Ogun, and I am the STEM representative for uh, Antelana Middle School, uh, which was a pilot school for the STEM initiative uh, with the Government of Guam Department of Education. Lines of student projects spanning an entire wing of the school showcase concepts students learn throughout the year. We have one example where they, uh, they got uh, plastic bottles and uh, kind of like reused them and they actually built rafts. Uh, and so they have this uh, little kiddie pool outside of front of the school um, exhibiting that they can actually stand on it, kind of like a paddle board. This allows students to apply concepts of density, buoyancy, and more. Another one is our robotics students. Uh, we'll display the robotics that they not only built, but they also programmed uh, to do certain, um, certain jobs. Gate technology teacher Juvi Carino said robots can make sounds, move objects, and even complete obstacle courses. She says the possibilities are limited only by student imagination. With the, the math department, I mentioned they have roller coasters. Students built both roller coasters and bridges, forcing them to use math skills such as calculating slopes, angles and weight to ensure the structures remain sound. Other projects tested magnetic fields, characteristics of water, light waves, energy and more. STEM Expo coordinator Arlene Castro said the Expo gets students excited about their work and helps them understand the practical applications of what they've learned. I think one of the challenges that is current in almost any classroom is uh, the reluctance of students to actually do the work because they don't see the relevance. So when we expose them to these different um, alternatives of learning where they can actually uh, practice and work together on a specific uh, project, um, then they're able to see actually um, how it benefits them. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Issa Baza.